Good. Right, well, YouTube doesn't stuff. like uh, music, so, uh, right. Over here we have the new transfer box. This one here at the Discovery. Um, it has the 1.2 to 1 ratio, which hopefully, if I've done my maths right, should allow the Cummins in there under the carpet so the birds don't shit on it to drive up the road at 60 mile an hour not at flat out revs should hopefully be doing about 2000 rpm um still quite high for it but then we're going to be changing the uh, the governing spring in it anyway to a 4200 um so the next the job at the moment is i'm drawing up a diagram for a shaft to go from this one into here and then that's going to be close coupled on the back of the box so i'm having to make it draw up some diagrams to get one made up um because there isn't actually nobody actually makes a uh, shaft off the shelf for it i don't know why i mean the cummings into a land rover you would have thought it'd be an everyday thing so this is the start of my drawings, these are just rough, I'm going to have to uh, get them onto a computer and uh, go from there. Right, we've had a bit of a video fail. Um, got the transfer box here, got the hub off. Um, this is your handbrake, cable pulls on that, basic John brake. Um, that's not the point of this. What we're going to do is we're going to take the input gear out of the transfer box um, and Darren has found somebody who will basically wants that and the hub off the other gearbox and what we should do is or he shall make up an adaption kit to go from the other gearbox to this one so these ones off I've oh yeah, had this off already and then this one here just comes off and then is that there is your input gear so drive line comes in from this side and we're gonna have a thing made up to basically have a new one go on here the bolt that goes on there to hold it all together And so we'll send that away and the hub off the other end and uh, get going. We've uh, got an adapter kit made up for the Cummins. So what we've had to do is remove the speedo drive off of the uh, ZF gearbox. Uh, this will now get mounted with these four holes to the bottom there. So we'll just mount that up like so as the assistant shows we'll and then flush this back we're gonna have to yeah grind this here back we've knocked the seal in some more so as we don't catch that with the grinder and then once we've done that we'll come back again right adapter plate is mounted we've cut this back and filed it back flush fitted the uh mount well, that's so, a weld over the oh, original speedo drive. Weld over speedo drive, just make a blanking cap. So next part I think is to fit this, which is your drawbar as he calls it, yeah. in the kit. So we'll uh, fit that and we'll come back to you in a minute. Right, next job is to replace this uh, seal. Uh, we got one just here on the new sh on the new shaft, so just put there for safety sakes. So we're going to replace that and then the next job is to replace this gear inside of this housing and then we're going to mate the housing to the gearbox right the gear is in this is the uh that there are seats against there um, this is what she looks like on the other side she just pushes in so uh, now we're just gonna put the cover on it goes in there and then there's a cover the cap on, the on there and then uh, she's ready to Actually, mate we don't put this on yet do we 
Um, yeah. No, we don't actually. Okay, transfer box is on. Um, basically, what we need to do is we need to make another plate up to go in here uh, because this basically doesn't fit. Um, you can get the tin ones. Um, I'm going to see what I can find. If I can find a tin one, I'll put a tin one on. If not, I'm going to make a plate up just to go space that out some more. And then all we've got to do is pull the engine out of that one and uh, just, drop her in. Just, just drop her in, really. Nothing too strenuous with that, is there? Pull the roof off so you can fit it in the workshop. Yeah, I think we decided we're going to pull the roof and doors off to uh, stick her in the workshop. 